Now you can take your career in all kinds of different directions as a writer. For instance, if you start off with content mills like text broker, it doesn't mean you have to necessarily stick with it. It's true that I do promote using content mills to get your practice, but there is so much more you can do than just writing content as a ghostwriter for other clients. In fact, there's more you can do than just getting private clients as well. Well, I'm Mike with Writer Sanctuary, and today we want to talk about being ambitious and not settling for things just because you want to write. Now, before we get started, if you can hit the like button, help the channel out, and for more videos about blogging or freelance writing, hit subscribe if you haven't already. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can always hit me up on social media, on Twitter, Facebook, or use contact form on writersanctuary.com's website. All right, being ambitious is definitely going to be up to the writer. Some people are going to be completely content with just being content mill creators. And there's nothing wrong with that. As long as you have a fulfilling life, then who's to say you're doing it wrong? However, I've never been one to just settle. With the exception of a few elements from my past, I've always been one of those type of people to reach for the next thing. Like when I started my computer business, I started that with $67 and a lot that I bought off eBay. Turned that into a six-digit income and ran a computer business for four years, but I was always looking for what else can we do to add to it. Now, that's not a very good example because I had to shut the business down for reasons that were outside of my control. But the point is, is that you don't have to settle for what's convenient. I started off writing for Text Broker pretty exclusively for about four years. And I did do some other work with Writer Access and Fiverr, but always made more money on Text Broker. And then I decided I wanted to expand. I don't want to be a ghostwriter anymore. I want to see what else it can do for me. So I started getting some private clients and doing a little bit of more work on my blogs. But then I started thinking, I don't want to be a blogger for the rest of my life either. I want each one of the things that I'm involved in to progress into something better, something bigger. So I started playing around with what is the end game for each one of my blogs? What is the path that I want all these things that I'm involved in to take me? So I started messing around with things like creating an ebook or now on Saturdays I have the readings that I do of my own creative pieces. I'm on the verge of finishing seven and I have a lot of things planned out for every one of my brands to lead into something even bigger. And just because you don't have a plan of your own doesn't mean you're doing it wrong. Like I said, everybody's going to be different. Everybody has their happiness threshold, I guess. But for me, it's all about self-improvement and taking things as far as I possibly can. Which is probably why I refuse to give up on the five blogs that I have. Or that I keep trying to come up with a decent plan to maintain the three YouTube channels and the Twitch stream. I love figuring out what I can do next to improve my situation. Now to figure out what kind of ambitions you should have, that's completely up to you. Some people are going to be content with getting 100,000 visitors a month on their blog or even hitting 1,000 subscribers on the YouTube channel. Everybody's unique as to what's going to be their end game. I guess my point is to never settle on something even though you think that it might be the end. Now, when I first started on Tax Broker, I didn't think for one second that I'd be in the position I am now. I make quite a bit more money today. I've got a YouTube channel that hit 1,000 subscribers. I've met a lot of really cool people. And all of this because I wanted to see just how far I could take freelance writing. And it's about to lead into me publishing my first books. I guess this kind of goes into the video that I made last week about um, whether freelance writing is a real career or not. And from my perspective, it absolutely is. I've been able to sustain myself. I've been able to expand on everything I've been doing. It's given me the opportunity to explore all kinds of potential. Now, do I have a big house and a fancy car? No. Do I make $100,000 a month? No. But what I can say is that I'm happy where I'm at. And not everybody who works can say that. So what I guess what I'm trying to say is always aim your sights high, but keep both feet on the ground. It's okay to reach for the stars as long as you're stable. Because if you don't have proper footing, you're going to stumble and fall. And if you are one of those people who are content with just writing, just being ghostwriters on text broker, then that's fine. But for me, it's all about how far can I take it. And I've had some great experiences so far. So the next time you start feeling like you're getting burned out from blogging or freelance writing, try to set your ambitions a bit higher. And if somebody gives you crap for writing for clients thinking that it's not a real career, keep in mind that you're paying your bills. Anything that can keep the lights on and put food on the table is going to be beneficial. Well, I guess I just hate it when people say that writing is not a real career path. So before you start feeling burned out, be ambitious. What else can you do to add to your career? What kind of path do you want to take? Where do you see yourself in 10 years? Because it's never too early to start thinking about that kind of stuff. Hell, I'm 44 and I have no idea what my retirement plans are going to be. 
because always in motion is the future. So what are some of your end game plans for being a freelance writer or even a blogger? I've got a different plan for each one of my sites. So the Writer Sanctuary, I think I want to progress it into a, um, a type of writing business, uh, managing websites. So I need a little bit, needed to get it a little bit to that point, but I have an end game for every one of my blogs. Now one of them is going to be publishing a book so I can stick it on the shelf behind me. So if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button for more videos about freelance writing, WordPress, text broker, or anything else I cover. Hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. I think it's going to do it for me today. I'll see you tonight at the live stream.